Yulia, this has been a rather depressing interview so yes. far. Yes, yes. Um, let's talk understand. about something on the upbeat side. Okay. How men can be successful coming to Ukraine and mm -hmm. meeting their half? Mm -hmm. uh, we find one of the biggest uh, mm -hmm. considerations we call a zone of success. Mm -hmm. We find that men that are not successful are either not meeting sincere women that aren't really interested in meeting foreign men. Yes. Uh, that's the biggest problem because they're meeting, they're talking to pictures on the internet and it's all a scam. So that's by far the biggest component. Right. And then the second component. Uh, when they do meet a sincere Ukrainian woman that's open to a relationship and possibly mm -hmm. marriage with a foreigner, mm -hmm. they're not within what we call their zone of success. Mm -hmm. And if a guy is not looking within his zone of success, he's also not going to be successful. Right. So, love to get your feedback on some of the parameters that we've set as zone of success, mm -hmm. um, based on your experience, if I could. Age difference. Yes. What do you think is the maximum acceptable the maximum age difference for happiness? 15 happy years. For happiness is 15 years, 15 not more. Years, yes. Not more. Less, but mm -hmm. not more. Some mm -hmm. exceptions from the rule. It could exist. They could exist. Right. Some couples, even in the age gate between, um, maybe they have difference 50 years, 20 years, 25 mm -hmm. years, they can succeed, but not for a long time relationship. Yeah, short time I only. Yeah, I agree with you completely mm -hmm. uh, because there's too many guys out there that are sucked into the fantasy land right. and believing that this beautiful 25 year old yes. girl is interested in him and he's 50, 55, you know, with 25 year age gap. It's just not reality, is it? It's not reality and the man will get um, a broken heart mm -hmm. and uh, what she, she is expecting from him just a kind of uh, benefit, that's all, mm -hmm. what, what he can do for mm -hmm. her, what Gifts, he can presents, give, whatever. give, it's, yes. It's not a real serious woman that's seriously potentially interested in, in the age in the guy more than 50 years and more than 60 years if she is 20 years old woman yes she's looking for sponsor not mm -hmm. for a man not for a husband no yeah, matter the, the girls that are uh, between 20 and 30 yes they don't they're not as serious they're not not uh, even serious and some can be some, some can, can be, be but there's still a lot of ukrainian men that are available Yes. At that age. Yes. Yes. Uh, right? They and they can choose. Right. And more they, choice. And yes. Yes. And uh, if the man comes from abroad, they understand. They don't know our culture, and right. it's easier to manipulate for this movement over this man. You understand? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. The next thing for zone mm -hmm. of success is if if the man is willing to take on the child of another right. woman. She's yes. so a single mom. She has mm -hmm. a child. These women. Is it true that they have a much harder time finding a husband? Yes, it's than, very much, ha much harder because first of all she is uh, taking responsibility for her child and mm -hmm. it's harder for her to find time even for search, right? Mm -hmm. To communicate into right. this man because right. she has to be with a child. Sometimes right. they ha have not even one. I have, my client was a woman of, with three children of different single. age. That's yes, true. single woman That's and true. every every child was from a different man mm -hmm. and she had a very difficult time bringing up these children by herself. Yeah. And, and a very difficult time to find a husband. Yes, yes. What's the situation in Ukraine? Mm -hmm. What's the Ukraine man's attitude towards marrying a woman that already has a child from another man? Mm, some men are very good, responsible. They can even have their own children. Mm -hmm. And uh, these two families unite in one big family. For example, she has three children, he has three children. They know how to be responsible and they make a great huge family, even take more kids from orphan house because they know how to bring up kids. But some men don't want even to take care of one child. Mm -hmm. If he finds out that the, ma the woman is pregnant, he runs away or something. So there are different types of men here. Mm -hmm. And you never know what kind of man is in front of you until you have a child with him. So I'm told by mm -hmm. many Ukrainian women mm -hmm. that the I'm kind of trying to paint a picture of the average Ukrainian mm -hmm, man. I'm mm -hmm. told, correct me if I'm wrong, by mm -hmm. many Ukrainian women that the average Ukrainian man doesn't want to take on the burden 
of mm-hmm. a child of another of, of another relationship. Um, is mm-hmm. that is that a common problem, or it's not fair to say that? Maybe he he will tell. It's a common problem. Yes. Mm-hmm. Maybe he will tell a woman because he loves her first of all. Mm-hmm. Um, that I will take responsibility for your child, but. Actually, he won't be taking this responsibility. He won't take in this burden. So he was he will be insisting on her to leave the child at her granny or something, you know, mother, I mean, mm-hmm. the granny of a child. Mm-hmm. And he was he won't be taking too much um, um, how to say part in he, in the life of this child. Mm-hmm. It is common problem also. So he it's very little percent of responsible men here yeah. who so, will take a child of not their own, of not his own uh-huh. and will have a very good care of this child so that's is that predominantly why there's so many single moms here because yes. the ukrainian man yes. is not yes. interested in yes yes yeah. some women even i know from experience of my friends they come to the date with ukrainian men and they hide the fact that they are mothers right they mm-hmm. have a child and mm, only after some time when the relationships are already serious and stable she says i have a very serious thing to tell you mm-hmm. i have a child mm-hmm. well that's and not a good situation either. not a good situation no. the man will yeah. either run or disappear yeah. or something like yeah. that so the third thing for zone mm-hmm. of success is whether he wants a child with her mm-hmm. or not yes and because it's it's true is it not that ukrainian women really family is so important in Ukraine culture mm-hmm. and if she's of age still of childbearing age maybe even 30 35 mm-hmm. 38 she wants to have more children mm-hmm. is that true most want to have most more children. want yes if they're in a financial situation where they can have they can support the sure child. sure if it's a situation is stable mm-hmm. even my friends uh, who are over 35 36 they were sharing with me when we were we are in the park they say I would not mind having a second child mm-hmm. from a beloved man if mm-hmm. he provides me with living, good living. If I don't uh, run like a how to say mm-hmm. horse to walk yes. every day yes. and uh, have to take care of children and etc. etc. Yes. It's very hard to bring up by yourself. That's why women do not um, uh, have the second, third child. Mm-hmm. That's so the point the reason is, uh, that the man mm-hmm. has more chances if he's willing to have another child mm-hmm. with this woman. Yes. So we're going up the zone of success ladder if you will higher yes. probability yes uh, of success for the man mm-hmm. um, and just backpedaling on the second factor of zone of success um, if he's willing to take on a, a lady that already has a child his chances of success go up yes and then if you're willing to have another child with her his chance of success go up even more yes because they have more of a, now they're creating a common family mm-hmm. together mm-hmm. more of a deeper bond yes right? yes yes um, anything else you can think of that's important to be successful any other factors that come on my own factors yes uh, yeah yeah anything else that you Look what think I, of? it's very important uh, to find out uh, if you follow the same uh, aims on future how you see future together right if for instance uh, this woman that you meet uh, wants uh, to stay in ukraine and for you to move in ukraine mm-hmm. Mm, it's one idea because most men want to take the wife and go abroad, right? Ninety yes. nine, ninety-eight yes. percent. Yeah. But most women will say, "I have mother that is very old. I have to take care. It's very important for our pe- people to take care of parents because we were brought up mm-hmm. like that. We first yes. are brought up by parents, and yes. then we help parents. Yes. We take care of them till they are very, very old. Yes. You know, and it's a very respectful thing. I think. Yes, We've yes, lost that we in respect our, our parents very much. We, this is a difference that. of this of yeah. our culture, yeah. and uh, we never put them to some house for old people. Yeah. It's it's disrespect. Yeah. Very very bad people do this. Thing. Mostly, we take care of our old parents till a very, very old age. And so, what's the solution? The solution for this? is to find out. The man should should ask, even in introductory letter, mm-hmm. "Are you willing to relocate?" Yeah. And what will be the, how to say, um, stones on our way? 
of you moving because not only parents Having stones, on stones the I mean we we call them um, stones on the surface when uh, uh -huh. you don't know what is some some kind of obstacles uh -huh. obstacles on our way problems. yes yes uh -huh. problems uh -huh. and not always parents can stand on your way it could be for example the ex of this woman ex-husband mm -hmm. mm -hmm. when you want a woman with a child to relocate abroad you can face a problem this ex will stand on your way saying I won't let the child leave and the woman will stay because she can't leave the country without child mm -hmm. this is very important too mm -hmm. find out her uh, real chance to relocate because any woman can say oh I dream to relocate but she won't admit at once that I can't relocate you need to find out her real real ability to relocate if you want her to it's relocate. a good point because yes. if the child um, is receiving child support from the husband from the uh, the father mostly not uh, in mostly our country not, not mostly not um, in your country yes in yes. your country court makes you yes pay. yes I know there's no legal um, system here to stop deadbeat dad we call them deadbeat dads usually dads don't how pay. do they do they don't pay because so, they say they don't have salary yeah I know so unemployed uh, the point the point is mm -hmm. it, it is a problem here uh, but if the man is paying mm -hmm. then it's hard for her to take the child out of the country right yes right? Right. then the courts protect the father right but usually uh, he's not paying child support so it's usually fairly an administrative court level uh, process mm -hmm. so that the mother can then Mm -hmm. uh, immigrate to his country and take the child. Yes. Uh, but but it's definitely an important point that the guy has to be aware of that he has to talk to her about this. Yes. And from the very to backpedal beginning. on your last point mm -hmm. about um, you know the lady's family and friends, mostly mm -hmm. parents mm -hmm. as they get elderly, she needs to understand that he's going to be supportive. That's my uh, thoughts yes. on the solution. Yes. Yes. If they do uh, immigrate to his country, mm -hmm. she needs to feel that okay, when I want to come back to take care of my parents if they've got a health problem or maybe some financial support yes um, that's very important to her yes it's very, very important, important right? right right because uh, right. for instance she works here she supports her family mm -hmm. her old parents mm -hmm. um, gives he, them some fees some help mm -hmm. during the months or all the time uh, shop for them for instance they don't walk outside much right it's mm -hmm. very important to how can they shop if they can't walk if they're ill people for instance right. stay somewhere in a distant place yeah. in the village yeah let yeah. it be yeah so so she mm -hmm. needs to put some parameters in play for support for help for her parents right. when she's yes. back in America or, America or whatever yes. right yes yes very important to talk about this up front yes and also if the man is going to be like this if he's going to be supportive of the family Mm -hmm. and just supportive of her relocating and if he's thoughtful consider it kind mm -hmm. this is the kind of man that Ukrainian woman is looking for is it right not? yes true true very Parameters true of success zone of success yes this is the kind of man that can mm, be successful coming here right if yes, he, if yes. he's like this and yes. he's within this what we're kind of talking about zone of success it's right true now. it's true yes it's very very true to follow this quotations mm -hmm. to, to follow this kind of um, how to say uh, headlines mm -hmm. to find a very good uh, match for yourself mm -hmm. to be sure that the woman uh, will feel safe with you exactly yes if you are a man from abroad because every woman here is also very much afraid to go there because she thinks here he may play a role of a very good guy mm -hmm. and he can turn to a bad guy there because we also hear here many stories the bad yeah. stories of women going there and facing yeah. violence facing bad attitude yeah. and it scares not one woman but most huge most. huge number most. that's why I, I coach my, my clients that mm -hmm. they need to be upfront about fears and right ask her yes you know, and then it takes time he has to come a couple of times to Ukraine mm -hmm. develop the relationship right. and then she has to go to his country she wants to see how he lives meet it's the true family, meet it's the friends. true meet friends and then mm -hmm. her fears come down slowly over time and she understands she's not alone there what right. also women are afraid of is that if they don't know English for instance most mm -hmm. women don't know English yes mm -hmm. who come to the marriage agencies because if they knew for instance they can meet some men on free sites where they can speak English with them but most don't and they think uh, if I go there I won't even be able to call emergency or to shop 
or to I don't know to communicate with to find some friends. Yeah, it's scary. It's a whole new it's scary, world yes. that's opening it's up. It's like to them. woman lived till 50 years and she has to take her off this life, put herself in the surrounding that she doesn't know about. If you are young, it's easy to jump from one place to another yeah. to make a new life and yeah. you and you start in your life. Yeah. When you are 50, you have many advisors around. Your yeah. mother, your father, your friends that had a bad, bad experience, for example, and yeah. they say, don't go there. It's a kind of um, horrible story you are taking part in or something like that. And the woman listens. Yes, I shouldn't be doing that. But if he's supportive and if mm -hmm. he really is sincere and says, you know, I, I will help you learn English, I'll be supportive, you can take English classes, yes. you know, and all of this, this is what it takes to overcome these fears, right? Right, right. One thing, let's change the topic if we could. Yes. Let's talk about, uh, guys think, uh, for so many amazing, single, beautiful, smart, sexy, educated Ukrainian mm -hmm. women on the streets of Ukraine. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to fly to Ukraine mm -hmm. and try to meet somebody on the street. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that for a mm -hmm. moment. Um, yes. How many Ukrainian ladies, if you take a hundred, let's say, Ukrainian mm -hmm. ladies, how many of those hundred would be open, not want to meet a foreign man, but open to meeting and marrying a foreign man, do you think? It depends uh, from hundred. Yeah, maybe, let's say 100. Maybe 60 will be willing to meet a foreign man. Yeah? 60. 60. 60. Why not? Okay. The stats are actually 15%. 15%? Yeah, there's statistics on this. It's, mm. it's, 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 a, it's a low percent. Maybe because uh, our we women are not able to admit. They are, how to say, shy to try. Uh -huh. Most wem right. women, you should take the tones into consideration right. because our women are not uh, that open like your women, you know. Your women, they are more, how to say, mm, open towards mm -hmm. the world. Mm -hmm. Our are more reserved. Mm -hmm. The difference in culture. That's true. That's it's true. hard. Julia, let's talk about um, what are the chances for Western men to come to Ukraine just on his own and hit the streets kind of thing and meet a Ukrainian woman that might want to marry him? What the do you think? Chances are not so high because our women are more reserved. Mm -hmm. They have their own uh, um, ideas on mm -hmm. a foreign man, like mm -hmm. it is depicted on videos yeah. or something. And it's hard for her to believe that it's that easy to meet like that, right? Mm -hmm. Not every woman will agree to continue communicating without contacting matchmaking agency or dating agency. Uh, yeah. Mostly they need a kind of, um, how to say, uh, solicitor between them, mm -hmm. like, like a filter, filter, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Someone that will be, how to say, standing behind her right. and helping her. All right, so, mm -hmm. so, that, so maybe she wants to meet a quality man. And yes, she quality. Just... She wants to uh, check if this man is really who uh, is she, uh, expecting him to be, right. and not some jihalo or, you know, yeah, or, or, yes, or a psychopath. Yes, <laughs> or yes, something. yes. Because the truth is, you were alluding to it at the beginning, you just said uh, that uh, Ukrainian woman has many preconceptions, ideas mm -hmm. of, of who is the Western man. Yes. And a lot of bad things. Yes. Right? True, She's true. afraid of a lot of things. She's afraid, yes. She's afraid right. even to have this, to try, to try, because mm -hmm. we are not uh, so much an independent society. Right. Because, you know, in the, Ukraine is not that independent. I mean, it's a young country in the sense of independence. Yeah. Yeah. And going reason. back to this, to the Soviet mentality, it's mm -hmm. very um, kind of closed. Right? Closed, Keep yes. to yourself and be strict. Don't be st don't yeah. uh, open up. Don't right. be right. show person. You know, right. Right. be reserved. Be modest. Modest. So th the stats are that less mm -hmm. than fifteen percent of, of uh, Slavic women are even open to meeting a foreign man, mm -hmm. and people don't generally know that stat. Mm -hmm. So. You're just confirming that that they they're not so open to meeting even no, a foreign no, man, no. let alone marrying him. Then the next obstacle is: um, is she willing to relocate and move to his country? Yes, very it's, hard for her to believe that she can move. Right. She she won't accept that if she won't be persuaded that she will be safe there. Right. So so mm -hmm. so only a small percentage of the population of the Ukrainian ladies mm -hmm. would be willing to leave Ukraine. Yes. After yes. they meet a foreign man. Yes. So yes. that your chance. 
chances are down again. Yes. So first you get difficult meeting her because we don't know also the Slavic mindset mentality we don't know how to pick up if you will like how right, to right. engage a woman from the street or in a cafe or whatever mm -hmm. because your mindset and your ways are just very different so it's true. chances are down chances are down uh, and and then you've got to court her you've got to win her heart again mm -hmm. very different mindset different yes different ways about the Slavic woman, right? Yes, you, you need to investigate, you, you mm -hmm. need to learn, you need to be uh, um, ready for obstacles mm -hmm. and you need a kind of um, matchmaker, a very successful matchmaker who will be helping you mm -hmm. in this, on these very steps you make, mm -hmm. every step you make. Yeah, it's true because if you meet somebody through a successful matchmaker, mm -hmm. um, the woman is has some confidence that that it's she's a quality a not, man. Yes, that, and that she's, she's not alone she's in not this alone. her ser in her search. Mm -hmm. If she is alone, she will be just relying on her experience, mm -hmm. and not always this experience is good, you know, because. For instance, they can go online and get 50% letters of very bad content. And she says, oh, the 50 letters, 50% 50 of other letters probably are the same and I won't be opening it yet, or something like that. Mm -hmm. So the woman is always looking at the bad side. At the bad side. Yes. Yeah. Because she wants to know what is, ex what is waiting for her. Mm -hmm. So maybe maybe some tips. Um, so if a Western man meets a Ukrainian woman, he comes mm -hmm. here. What tips would you have? How should he behave to maximize his chances of success with her? First of all, he should be a true man, a true gentleman. Mm -hmm. um, respect her time. Respect her family. Respect her religion, hobbies, etc., etc. Be careful. Don't be pushy, be per, um, persi not persistent, but uh, patient, be patient. Mm -hmm. Don't be stubborn, don't argue with her. Some women will like if you show the character and some won't. Mm -hmm. uh, try to be soft, soft, very soft towards her. And uh, try to win her heart step by step, not all at once. Because mm -hmm. the woman... Don't come on too yes, strong, Yes, yes, because it. the woman can, for example, say three no's and after that she will think back, oh, this is the man I need, why did I let him go or something like that. The woman, Ukrainian woman, uh, in many ways come back to her reflection, always at man, mm -hmm. and sometimes the uh, yes answer comes very, very late to her after some maybe bad experiences afterwards she has. For instance, she meets this man and she compares this man with another man that she meets after mm -hmm. and uh, in some time she understands the previous was much better. You know, mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. like that. Okay. What about flowers, let's say, at the initial mm -hmm. meeting? How important are they? It's very important, yes. Very important. If, for instance, you meet uh, at the airport, for sure you can't bring flowers because Either they will die or you have too many luggage, too much luggage with you. But at least try to bring one flower or the flower for the first date, the mm -hmm. real date that you have. It shows uh, your sincerity, right? Yes, it, yes. It, it, and it, our women are not so much pampered. And when she sees mm -hmm. this, this mm -hmm. flower, it's, at once she says, oh, how sweet of you, really. It's mm -hmm. very nice to, to be pampered because yeah. it's, it's hard for some mm -hmm. women to even see any signs of much. attention. Yes, uh -huh. they are not spoiled by that. By the Ukrainian no. man? Mm -hmm. By the Ukrainian They're man, not yes. Spoiled. <laughs> not, not spoiled. What about a gift for the child, if she has a child? Oh, that was I was telling you. Uh -huh. I was going to tell you it. I was even noticing than in my tips before our interview. Uh, very important if you know that the woman has a child, try to bring something for the child because she will always give you points for bringing some to a child. It shouldn't be a huge toy, it should be like a teddy bear or if it's, it's yeah. a girl or a little car if it's a boy. Yeah. But it will be also already show that you cared and you thought not only of her and yeah. you but also a child that will be a very big part of your family yeah. if you make a couple after. Right. Right? right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And very important. A, a little bit about gifts. Mm -hmm. um, gifts should be just thoughtful gifts, not expensive gifts. Not, not expensive. Not like an iPhone or a no, laptop. No, never, never. In fact, what do you think a good Ukrainian girl thinks if a man gives her a new iPhone 7 or 8? 
It was, uh, on the it meeting. was by the way, exp First or second experience meeting. of my very good friend recently. He is American and he came here and uh, maybe on the second date of him and a lady, mm -hmm. she is speaking English. Mm -hmm. And they didn't have an interpreter with them. He was just sharing his experience with me. Mm -hmm. And he was saying, on the second date, she was saying, why don't you pamper me? I need an iPhone 7. She, he said, what? <laughs> we just met, we didn't kiss. Uh -huh. what, what is happening? Why iPhone 7? Uh -huh. Oh, I am a fancy girl, I need it. If you love me, love? Who says about love, you know? Something like that. And if this starts in your communication with a woman, he, she starts to hint on very expensive gifts or something, or she, for instance, you came and brought a, a box of sweet, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, she says, she looks at this box of sweet like, oh my God, what is this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it paka, will, paka. Yes, it will give yeah. you already a kind of idea what, of what kind of yeah, woman This is, is not that. a sincere woman. Not a this, sincere woman. This is woman. a player. We call it's it a, a player. Golden, di gold gold digger. golden digger. Gold yeah. digger, yes. Yeah. We have a yeah. special like a name yeah. for this woman. And uh, on the flip side of that, if a man is offering, though, an iPhone, mm -hmm. uh, let's say, to a good girl, mm -hmm. how does she feel? Doesn't she, she, she won't accept it. And she doesn't feel good about it. No, right? no. She will say, oh my God, how can I get this? Uh -huh. Because we just met. I don't know you very well. I can't take this gift from you. Right. because, And it already will give you, it's like a kind of checking situation you can use yes. in your finding a good woman. Yes. Give her this uh, expensive gift and look at her if she said, oh, it was what I was expecting yeah, for. Thank you. Yeah, yes. Yeah. It will say you, it's not a very good woman in right, front of right, you. Right, right. Exactly. If she says, no way, I can't take it because our women will never take expensive gift because it will mean that she owes you something, you know, already. Yes. And yes, our women yes. don't want to be in fact, they like feel that. like you're trying to buy their affections, yes, buy their yes, love, and they yes, don't like yes, that feeling. Yes. No, 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 no. So, no so, our women don't like yeah. true women, the, the true good women, girls. Good, yeah, good girls. Yeah, yeah. Bad girls will will hint yeah, uh, thank on you something very much. more. You know. <laughs> Let's go for a flat screen TV now. Maybe yes. we can go shopping. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's it's true. What about things like? being a gentleman, mm -hmm. uh, being chivalrous, so opening the door for her. Is very important. important, yes, very important. Mm -hmm. Open the door, uh, placing the chair close to her, for example, you come up to the table mm -hmm. and she, he has he has to pull take the for pull her. the chair for yeah. her. Uh, for instance, uh, let her choose the meal first, because uh, you don't know what she is eating. If the man says, I will order, and he doesn't care for what she likes, let her choose mm -hmm. and uh, for instance uh, find out if she's drinking maybe this woman is not drinking mm -hmm. at all and you insist on her drinking something to make you feel more relaxed it's not good mm -hmm. some women don't drink here mm -hmm. for instance I don't drink I don't like drinking I don't like alcohol at all um, what, what else? About, what about dress? How we should dress? Is oh, that important? It's very important, very important, because some men were coming in a very bad way of uh, dressing mm -hmm. to the dates, and these dates was were always unsuccessful. The women afterwards were saying, "Yes, he's a good guy. He speaks well. He's nice." Uh, character but he he's he's terrific in his the way he looks so be be sure that you bring terrible in the way yes he looks yes and, yeah, don't don't yeah. don't he shows up in in, in tattered yes. t-shirt yes 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 jeans running shoes not not ironed yes you yeah. need to be ironed mm -hmm. for our women it's very important because they always yeah. take care of men and you they always want the man to look beautiful, handsome, smooth, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, his jeans and anything on him should be very neat mm -hmm. and it's very important mm -hmm. to respect our culture, yeah. our way of, uh, yeah. how we see our men, yeah. we take care of our men and say we want also the man to come in the appropriate yes. way of dressing. <laughs> yes, it's, it's a huge point that I always try to stress to guys that you have to dress suave as possible yes um, yes yes because it means a lot to the ukrainian lady yeah. yes yeah. very very much it's yeah. very important well yulia thank you very much for talking to me today yes you've it's... been very helpful for a lot of guys out there so i do hope much. i will be and it will be my pleasure um, if my video helps a little bit 
for for your kind of investigating for perfect matchmaking. Yes. You know? Thank you. Thank you. You've given a lot of pearls of wisdom and tips, and uh, you'll help uh, the guys watching this video a lot. I hope so. Okay.